Greetings from the road. This is Freighter Jim. I'm here with Herb. He basically spent two years recreating this 1915 telescoping apartment camper on the Model T chassis. Okay, Herb has already taken and turned on the fuel and turned on the battery, but he's going to tell you where those are located. Herb, where are those located? You have to get underneath the car. Okay. The gas switch is on the bottom of the fuel tank in the middle. Okay. And a little bit further back is the battery disconnect. And back under this area, there's a battery switch on and off. Okay. And, and it's clearly marked, right? And one other thing while I'm down, the battery on this is up underneath and you have to get to the battery cable from underneath. If you have to remove the battery, you have to remove the battery tray underneath. Okay. So accessibility to the battery is through the compartment underneath to the cables underneath. So there's no top accessibility to the battery. So for storage, I already asked Curb, obviously you should shut the battery off but before doing that, like with all Model Ts, you should run the carburetor dry. Is there a secondary fuel shut off or just that one? There's another one on the engine, but I've never used it. Okay, he hasn't used the one on the engine. But again, to keep the best possible storage for this, you'd want to shut off the fuel at the gas tank. That way you won't have a leak between the gas tank and the carburetor, okay? So Herb, he's already got that done. You mentioned you use Marvel Mystery Oil in, in the fuel? And the gas and no ethanol gas. No ethanol gas and he uses Marvel Mystery Oil, but if you're gonna store this, you might wanna put some stable in it, well, you know? Well, another thing for storing it, I drained it dry. He drained it dry, by that he drained the uh, water out of the radiator. No, and no, just the gas. Just the gas, okay. But again, if it's not climate controlled and it's subject to freezing, you would want to drain the radiator in the block. Right, but this is, this is for the museum, so we're not gonna do that. All right, now we're gonna go over the starting procedure. All right, let me get in. Okay, so entry on this is from the curbside. Another set of checklists. All right. So tell us the first thing we're doing here, Herb. First thing, it's the parking brake is on right now. I'll okay. Put it into neutral. Now your parking brake, neutral's about halfway, right? Halfway. All right. So he just took the parking brake off, put it in the halfway position. All right. Set your ignition. Let's walk around so we see what that's at. So this is the correct position. This is starting somewhere in this area. This is not a normal Model T. This has a distributor and it, this does affect the distributor. Okay, so what we're doing is adjusting- The timing. The timing on it right now. So you you set it where it should start at. Right. Right in there. Okay, all, all right. right. Then what do we do? And then we set the gas lever. This is the throttle. Okay. And, and I put it down almost full open. Okay, so he's got the throttle almost all the way down, folks. All right, then what do we do? Then we turn it on. You go to the left position to run on the... Okay, so the on position. Battery. So let's look at the off position, where we normally would leave it. Off. Okay, so the left is on. And on. Okay, now what do we do? And then down here is the starter switch. So okay, now sometimes here. they're... And the floor here, he's got it right by the left foot at the heel. Okay, so it's got an electric starter. Go ahead. And then you use your choke. He's gonna pull the choke out. And be ready to put on the brake. In cold weather, it'll creep. He's got his foot on the brake. See how it to creep? You gotta have your foot on the brake. So now what he's doing is he adjusted the throttle by bringing it up a little bit. He still hasn't done anything with the timing. It, it just stays there most of the time. Stays there most of the time. Now when would you adjust the distributor? If you're out driving? A little bit. All right. And you can just tell by feel. When it gets in, the engine gets happy. Okay. So what I'm gonna ask Herb to do Let's drive this around to the back of the trailer and I'll take a video of him doing that. I'm going to shut the door. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to drive. 
drive next to the back of the trailer.